Hi everybody. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today you can see me on the screen. So let's um, uh, continue on with our general chemistry chapter one matter with the third lesson and um, we are going to talk about the mole concept. Okay. Today we are going to learn about definition of mole in terms of mass of carbon-12 and Avogadro constant. We also want to convert between the number of mole, mass, number of particles and also we are going to use smaller volume to get the volume of the gas. In the micro world, we are talking about atoms and molecules. But how are we going to relate it to the macro world whereby we have to weigh how many grams do you need to do an experiment in the laboratory? We use the relative atomic mass, the one that we've learned in lesson two. It's the mass of an atom in atomic mass units or U. So for one atom carbon-12, it weighs, its mass is as much as 12 atomic mass unit, the same as hydrogen, one unit, oxygen atom, 16 unit. We have to convert it into a unit whereby we want to wait on that weighing scale. As you can see, the butterfly there is very light. So let's look at the next part. You have 12 eggs in a dozen. You have two shoes in one pair of shoes. But how many atoms do you have in one mole? In one mole, we have 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 entities or things. Things there can be atoms, ions, molecules, electrons, chickens even. So what is mole? The mole is the amount of substance that contains as many elementary entities as they are atoms in exactly 12 grams of carbon 12. To understand this even further, imagine for example you have 400 shoes in your lifetime. How many mole of shoes is that? So you take 400, you divide it with the Avogadro constant and you get 6.64 times 10 to the power of negative 22 mole of shoes. That's how much shoes you used in your lifetime uh, in terms of number of mole. You can actually calculate the number of mole of all the items that you have in the world. So when you go to the lab, you are given 0 0.563 moles of oxygen gas. So how many molecules are there? You multiply that with the Avogadro number. That is 3.39 times 10 to the power of 23 oxygen molecules. Remember that one molecule oxygen has two oxygen atom. So you are going to multiply this uh, number of molecules with 2 and you're going to get 6.78 times 10 to the power of 23 oxygen atoms present in 0.563 mole of oxygen gas. Next, we look at the definition of molar mass. Molar mass is the mass of one mole of atoms in grams. So this is the important part, whereby for one mole of carbon-12 atoms, it has 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. That is basically 12 grams of mass. So for lithium, you have 6.941 grams in one mole and so on for all of the elements in the periodic table. 
for one element, for any element, the atomic mass unit is actually the same as the molar mass in grams. For example, 1.4, let's look at page 25. For this exercise, you would need your yellow page because we are going to refer the relative atomic mass at the appendix B here. Okay. Okay. Let's do example 1.4 in your page 25. We are going to calculate the number of atoms in 0.551 grams of potassium. The formula that we are going to use is mass over molar mass or relative atomic mass, uh, which you have learned in previous years. So you need to look at the uh, yellow pages, uh, appendix B, and then find the word potassium. And it turns out to be 39.1 gram per mole. Next, you are going to get 0 0.0141 mole as the answer, and you're going to multiply it by the um, Avogadro number uh, 6.023 times 10 to the power of 23 to get the answer straight away which is 8.487 times 10 to the power of 21 atoms you're going to get two marks for this question all right the next question is how many carbon atoms are in 0.75 mole of MSG the molecular formula for MSG is given to you here, NaC5H8NO4, meaning that you are going to find firstly the number of mole for MSG molecule. That is 4.5225 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. And after that, you want to know how many moles of carbon are there in one mole of MSG molecule. It's five, given in the formula, right? So you multiply the number that you have, uh, you get earlier with five, and then you get 2.2613 times 10 to the power of 24 atoms. Use four decimal places. For this question, also you will get two marks. Good. Question number three is how many atoms of oxygen are there in 1.5 moles of aluminum sulfate? The molecular formula for aluminum sulfate there is given Al2SO43, meaning that how many atoms of oxygen are there? 12. Uh, so do the same thing. Find the number of mole for the molecule, which is 9.0345 times 10 to the power of 23, and then you multiply it by 12, and then you'll get 1.0841 times 10 to the power of 25 atoms. Good. Number four. Uh, this is a traditional question. Usually, I would ask students, what is the mass of one atom gold? Can you give me a rough figure? 10 to the power of? How many? Uh, if the student answer 10 to the power of 22, then it's wrong. Why? Because that is the mass of our Mother Earth. Uh, see, some students just remember and memorize the formula but sometimes they don't know how to use it and they don't know how to give a logical answer so use your common sense one atom must be very very light therefore you find the relative atomic mass of aurum gold and then you divide it with the avogadro number and you will get 3.271 times 10 to the power of negative 22. That is a logical answer. You'll get also two marks for this question.